Okay, good morning guys, again. So the idea to this workshop is just to make sure that everybody has uh, the watch list needed in order to see once the market starts and determine which uh, industry sectors are, are working or having in relative strength. So I'm gonna, I have here, and, and for those who has TOS, uh, and I'm gonna send you this uh, first watch list, main watch list that I have here, uh, which are obviously the watch list of the all the sectors, XLF, XLY, blah, 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 all those in one watch list. And then what I do also is I have each sector, each main sector, their top 10 holdings. I mean, and what I mean in the, with the top 10 is the top 10 uh, underlines that probably are weights 50 or more percent of the total sector, right? So the idea is to have it, once you have, for example, this one, I'm gonna put it here on the side. So you can see it. For example, I mean, some I other some of them don't don't we have the list for one like they're complete they're not the top 10 no 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 I, i'll be there i'll be there hold on okay. it's because some other sectors sector. are not the, the no no eight. no 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 but this is this is the, we're gonna we're gonna start from top to bottom right okay. that is the idea the idea is to so first of all uh, i have this one here with that is the spdr selected sectors which is xlf xle all of them and i have it on a watch list as well each of them you can see them here, right? So, what are you trying to see and monitor at the uh, at the opening of the of this of the session is to see which sectors are leading, right, or lagging, uh, depending of uh, or how many are red and how many are green. So you can also have a sense of the overall market, and then you can focus uh, in the into individual. Uh, under, for example, XLF, if I want to go to XLF, I already have it here. Somewhere here, XLF, I see the XLF and I have all the, and I can select it by, uh, by, by change or whatever, right? So that's the idea to have it all individually selected, right? How what is the best way to download all these or to see which ones you have a trading view always? Remember this uh, scanner that we show you during the master class. If you go here to the TFPC by sector, this is also very, very interesting, but uh, because it gives you an overview. Of course, th this information is uh to the end of day you cannot see this live information but it's good one day before you can take a look and see all the main uh, sectors and what it, this uh, arrows tell you is if the daily weekly monthly quarterly and yearly uh bar it's a bullish or, or bearish it's all that it uh, tells you so what you can find here is the fractal, no? What they call fractal. So you can see all time frames, which sectors are all red, or which ones are all red only in the daily and the weekly, but uh, in the mid and long term are are bullish. So it's a good way to identify and see more or less how, what what sectors are strong or weak. And then here on your right. You can see one by one, and this is what is what uh, Q was saying, right? You can see the XLE. Here are all the sector, all the all the underlines that compose the XLE, and also you have the fractals as well described here. And the good thing about this one is that you you have the possibility to even download it here to a TOS or Trading View. So if you want to go to TOS, you just se select two times, you click twice here and you copy it and then you create a watch list, right? You can create a very easy watch list, for example. Let me, let me post a link of, uh, if anybody yeah. wants to check out, because I know some people here were not on the master class. And mm -hmm. So you, you, can, you can select here, double clicking on this, where it says 
POS and then copy all the underlines and you just copy it on, on a watch list in TOS in or chat. you can, right? So there is a, a nice, a, a, a nice or I also am gonna show you this, the top tens and everything that you just link that to your, if you have TOS, you're gonna have, get this and you already have the watch list here. It's already created, right? One of the other, I mean, whatever, but you can have here, and this you have here in this one all the details. For example, in in sectors that have much more underlines like uh, XLK, so you have them all here, right? And it's the same. So here is a good a good way to to see a sense. Of course, you also have in this uh, the overall. Here is like a summary of the quick view of how the different sectors and indices are doing in the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, independently. This is the overall, and this, this, this is nice because it has the fractal information, and also they give you some uh, percentages. How is uh, the daily, the week, month, quarterly, and yearly? So you can see here, actually, is the only one that is positive on the month and the quarterly, on the quarter and the year, but in terms of day and week, all sectors were negative, no? This, this week, this past week that we had. So this is the summary and the other underline here is there. Uh, so you, we, uh, we can, I, I think that you share this uh, link here. This is, you can just, it's free. You don't have to pay, but the only thing that you have to take in consideration is that, um, that is uh, information that is not live, right? It's only end of day. And the other good uh, stuff that we use here is the daily and uh, bullish and bearish that give you individual tickets of uh, what do you have for the daily in terms of inside candles, double inside candles and other type of patterns. This is very related with the strat, right? So we use a lot of daily uh, bullish and bearish in this case, of course, it has to refresh. It's not right now. It's not. Uh, it's not updated, but uh, you can find everything updated, here. No? We just don't have a bullish ah, ticket. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't have. No, it is. There's no. It's only yeah, one. Oh, inside. you're in the bearish ones. Yeah, but uh, neither the you don't have any. No, but uh, if you scroll right, if you scroll to the right, you're probably gonna yeah. see more setups. Yep. Yeah. For just example, go, go right. At, at the direction left. I know. You're going to you know see what? more setups at the end. Oh, there's not even yeah. that many. Uh, there's not many. I mean, for example, here they, you can see hammers that I that are, in this case, uh, bullish candle hammers on, on a bullish red, uh, what, uh, green, green uh, candle. But usually you see here a lot of insight. And Fredo, I think that you also like to see uh, inside cancer. This is another way. I mean, there are many ways to find inside. The only disadvantage of this one is that, that it only tracks the uh, S&P 500. So a lot of tickers from NASDAQ only and, and Russell are not here, right? So this is just for the 500. So coming back, the idea is that once the market starts, guys, you start looking for those sectors and then go uh, strictly to individual, sec uh, individual tickets of, of the sectors that are strong or, or are weak and look for relative strength in volume, right? Which uh, tickers have a high volume during the, the during the session. And then you can focus on those type of uh, uh, setups in order to see opportunities intraday, right? Another good way also to, to look for is uh, if you try to find on in POS, if you look and find the, the if you go to public, I, I like also to look for NASDAQ 100 and also SP 100. And what I do is I look which one are leading in, in percentage, right? So in this case, Adobe, or another way to do it is which one has more volume that session. CRM. So here's a very quick 
a way to see uh, what is having volume and, and, and movement to, during the day. And that is the idea of how do you narrow from top to bottom? How do you narrow to four or five tickets that you can see that has that the, that the sector on that day is strong or weak? that it has volume, and then you can monitor more closely in a, a smaller watch list of, of on those that you selected and look for patterns that are, for example, CRM, we can see, and we can make an example here. Imagine that uh, we would like to play CRM that, they, that was weak, uh, which was uh, Friday. You go and, and take a EOS is a little bit slow today. They always they are if they are slow during the week. Weekends are I even do maintenance worse. on weekends. Mm -hmm. Weekends are even even worse. But okay, but if not, we have also another chance here. Okay, let's say, let's so use this one in, in the meantime, because we're not gonna wait until TOS wants to. So if, you, if we're gonna see, why not now? Today they are not behaving, but if we're gonna see CRM here, So we, we can look for patterns, right, during the day. Let me change it to come speak. Ah, it's the same. So you have the day and, and you can see that, that it's bullish, so you bearish, so you look for, for opportunity. No, in this case, uh, it was the what date? Good end. Probably is using Friday as an example is bad because no 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 but I mean you can look here where Friday started this day here around here okay you have some resistance anyway you look for for opportunities and and, and going to individual tickets to find to find setups I mean I, I you have here one you would like to get long quickly here or short I mean all depends or here you have another one but ah uh, it's an example so the idea is that it. The most important part is that you have to have already uh, see and this one didn't work already your your all your tools ready right in in, in terms of you I already have to your your watch lists on hand so the idea is that if you have it on hand you can quickly look for opportunities and and, and individual tickets that are uh, that um, that can provide you an edge during the day no. I don't know if you have any other suggestion, Cube, and how do you work it out as well? I do the same. I I have my watch list. I stop using the top 10 ones because uh, some of the sectors are not even that big, and then you can arrange per volume. So sometimes on the day, you, can, you have to walk in on the day thinking that certain sector is going to be hot, but I, in reality, you don't know, right? You don't know and until you see the day develop, you start saying, okay, okay, travel is hot, you know, travel is going, okay, or, or industrials are going, or, you know, and a lot of the, a lot of the, not even going by the spider sector, sometimes you have to, uh, change your mindset a little bit, uh, uh, expand it a little bit, right? So semiconductors will be looking at like SMH uh, components or XO, SOXL components. Or if you do airlines, you look at jets with all the components. And I have my watch list with, with all the airlines. And I look at the one with the highest volume or the best setup, you know, or, uh, or when biotech is running, it's just a general idea, right? Whenever Let's say there's something going on with Moderna. Quickly, my first, my first uh, process, whatever, whatever I think first is okay. I gotta check NBAX. I gotta check uh, P, uh, Pfizer. I gotta check um, 
uh, BNTX, and so on, right? And uh, EVs are hot, you know? And I think it's, it's general knowledge, you guys know it already. Defense sectors, like Alfonso is showing LMT. Well, I'll check RTX as well. Uh, possibly there's no uh, sector or something that a uh, uh, DTF that I'm looking for defensives, right? For uh, defense, but but like like if LMT is going, I gotta check up for RTX. And I think uh, I don't know if you guys remember there was a huge play one time that UPST fall, fell. They had earnings leaked, and the first thing I think is like, oh, sympathy play a AFRM before it before it drops, and it boom, it, it gave like a five hundred percent or something play. So it's just going for whenever you see something running, check if the whole sector is running, right? Yeah, and, just... also, and also you'll, you have here a lot of uh, public already list that you can look for individual sectors here in, in <laughs> TOS. Very, very easily, right? You, so, I think you were not in VIP at the, that day, Fredo, but I, because, or you were taking a break from VIP, but but everybody remembers, right? That they leak some earnings and then, but the first thing you have to look, cause I think it gave like a good five or even 10 minutes for you to join those, well, uh, the other uh, the other ticket, right? So sympathy plays are always good. And, uh, and yes, uh, consumer like check-in, consumer staples, you know, all the time, you know, sometimes, if you've seen the market long enough, you'll know that when the day is bearish, but it's not that bearish, you know, and meaning that there's not a hundred percent correlation, but but there's some stuff, not everything's gonna be going red, right? So there'll be bullish patterns usually, usually uh, utilities and, and the staples. So XLU and XLP and knowing that, then you look at, I already know that in XLU and EE is a, it's like 17% weight of the whole sector, which is a lot. If you compare like what, what other ticker has so much weight on one sector and uh, Nextera and EE has so much weight. So usually I go after NED if I'm going long on XLU or, or, uh, or I just go through which one, see which one has the best uh, um, range or best setup, right? And um, consumer staples is very big. I mean, uh, you can find stuff uh, there going from Walmart all the way to Pepsi, Coca-Cola, you know, um, yeah, Costco, you know, it's just a, a bigger range, right? But the idea is that uh, try to find the theme of the day and then go from there, right? Yeah, another another uh, cool uh, site that you can that you can watch is this one, sectors or PDR. Uh, sectors spdr.com and you have everything here all the information that is made of the different sectors and you you can also look for uh for more individual uh besides sectors uh industries right for example the i don't know communication services you go here and you have it you have all the explanation the index the portfolio performance and then you have uh, all the, the all the all the components of them, and so this is a very also a very cool site when you can find a lot of information. You can see them all. There's moments yeah. that everything moves together. There's moments that that are not mm -hmm. right, and I guess it's it's a matter of finding what's moving different. Yeah. And this is, for example, the 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 performance that you can look for for the different sectors. So. There's a lot of information that you can look in in the day. Uh, another another pin pin with this is also very cool. You can find a lot of stuff here. We have used it a lot for for um, looking for uh, short uh, interest companies as well. You can hear, for example, I have already some some screeners already preset here that I have, I think you have to log in with your credentials. So I, for example, I have already some short interest, right? If you want to look for short interest, you have here with these parameters. 
and and this also Finbits is a very cool free. I mean, you'll have the the uh, an upgrade as well, but you don't need it. I mean, it's, you can you can work out with with this one to find very quick. Uh, Redbox has still short thirty eight percent of the float. See? That thing has been running like crazy. Yeah, you can see it here. So what what are you looking here? Obviously, it is the the short ratio and the percentage, right? That is short. In this case here, the float. So what are you want, trying to look is for opportunities over five and with high float short, right? Over 30%. So HCP, you have HCP, DDMTK. So those are uh, other, other type of opportunities that the stocks that you have to be watching in order to to look for a breakout, right? So those are, that's another interesting site. I don't know which one and other you, you use, but I, I always have an open all this and I'm looking for opportunities all the time. But I, I rely a lot of on my watch list, right? My watch lists are very important to me and my, my scanner. So I urge you to, to, to prepare and have ready your, your watch list. That's the, the way that I have. So I, I very quickly can see if I wanna go to a specific sector, I don't know, I mean, XLE, and I have them all right here, right? And you can also do some uh, industries, right? You can look for the semiconductors. Uh, I don't know, what is the, the ticker of the semiconductor skill piece? So XL or SMH. Okay. <clears throat> and that ATF also has several underlines under it, right? So that is another another cool way to to have it. Uh, I think that I used to have it also. How did I did it? Explosion. No, I don't have it here. I used to have it in my other TOS, and I had and I had more specific information when when I wanted to to look for for individual industries, but uh. But you have it here in public, right? Inter internal smart grid sector. For example, sector indices, sectors and industries. Oh, this is more complicated, no. But you can you can look for, for the semiconductors uh, ETF and then and then uh, download those. Where is it? In this one here. So yes, uh, I, and summary like go go to the tickers and arrange them by volume, and then look for the setup one. Look at the chart, right, and then and then yep. look if there's a net change so and <laughs> and then volume either or because I mean it's all relative net change. Uh, like if you arrange a list where Google is included, net changes. Google is always going to be on top because it's a large stock, and net changes it's going to be a large number, right? But you can still use it. Just just know that a large stock. I mean, obviously, it's going to have a large change. Uh, and for volume, is relative too because the float can be different from volume. So in reality. Even if something is on top of the list, but that volume is, it looks large, but it represents very a small percentage of the usual volume or the, or the whole float, then it doesn't really work, right? Um, so you just have to be aware, like it, it's, it's, it's just a, a glance tool, you know, the arrangement by, by net change and volume and then go from there. Look at the chart, obviously. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's very simple, it was not complicated, but uh, sometimes what, I mean, the most important takeaway of this is you have to make this homework before, right? You, you have to have your setup, your templates and everything already set up handy so you can take decisions quickly, right? Because otherwise it's gonna take you a lot of time during the trading hours. But this is a good way to quickly identify uh, which underlines could be interesting to look for. I don't know if you have any questions. 
And I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna send the, all these uh, TOS watch list. So you already have them for the top 10 and you already know how to download if you wanna have exactly all the, all the ones, right? We got, a, I think on Friday, I saw XLP uh, recovering and, and the uh, XLP recovering, right? So I went for target and it did not work. It gave 20% and then no more. And I mean, 20% it wasn't even that much. It went from 10 cents to 12 cents, right? But, um, yeah, but Walmart, sure. Walmart did go, right? Okay. So I guess. I'll show you here the, the, the XMP here. Here is the, for example, the, the break where it took the second lift in the middle of the day, right? When it broke this flag. Boom. I saw the, I saw it recovering from the beginning. If you notice, yes, yeah, from I, the beginning, yeah, it was a both actually, flag. Actually, here's another one here. This one yeah, was so, a good. So if you, if you, yeah, sometimes if you check the chart of the whole sector, even, even on the daily, you can see the sector is going to have a breakout. Then, then you go from there, like, okay, if XLY is going to look in on the daily, like it's going to have a breakout, then I go for Tesla, you know, or something like that. And then if, if you look back a little bit on history, every time that, that XLY looks like it and has a breakout, Tesla has a breakout as well. So, you know, it's just stuff like that. It's just stuff like that. Uh, so, so they, Sometimes the leading chart is going to be the sector chart, and then you go for the one of the stocks that look like a good, good setup. I thought Target was going to do it, <laughs> it didn't, and Walmart did. So, yeah, for example, here uh, I have a. Unfortunately, it's not it's not loading all the, but you have XLP. Okay, you see that it's it's, it's doing its thing. Can you show us ADM? ADM, yeah. It's not loading up. No, it's super slow. The same with you? Do you have the same issues? No, I don't have my charts open. You're really on vacation today. No, that is... <laughs> I came here to learn, actually. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. I mean, that, that, that is the idea. I mean, this was my initiative to to have this quick uh, workshop in order to to give you this info. But unfortunately, but yes, at least at least that's a good example. The XLP on the on the chart, not on the daily. The daily looks like crap, but at least intraday is recovering and better than the, the other name. So you look for opportunities in XLP, and the opportunity ended up being Walmart. I hear it's and, ADM, the 10 minutes. Okay, the ADM didn't do great. No. But, but I was just going to go through the tickers fast, you know, on XLP, those because there were not that many. But yeah. Yeah, this one. Walmart was the one who. But what else? If something else had to run. Walmart, can I just carry the XLP by itself? No. I think I, I some something else. Can, like, can you go to TOS and then link the charts to the watch list and then and then keep the watch list on top? I think. Well, yeah, they're not what, gonna load anyway. What I do, what I do is, for example, you you, you go here, you have it, you link it, and and you go link one, it one yeah. by one, right? Yeah, you go by one, and then and that's a yeah. quick way to do it, right? Yeah, and it usually works quickly in the normal. Oh, days. Kroger, 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 actually. Uh, don't tell me about. It. <laughs> Right. Well, that's so uh, well. Alfonso can see his mistake right here, right? He's shorting Kroger, but he's no, not noticing that XLP is actually going up. Yeah, he showed it here when it broke <laughs> before the breakout. <laughs> he broke the he broke the fifty, broke the uh, the VWAP, and unfortunately, that didn't, I guess I I I lost. And it was already, I mean, it had various, various, but I don't know. I don't know why it didn't work. But you can see right there, right? Uh, and also that one was another XLP component that. Yeah, you had here, so, you had here this break. Probably here. And you have another one here. Actually, that is broke. 
not even a this one is not even a flag it's even stronger right just path continuation and yeah that is that's the yeah, but, but but i always have a link to my watch list and i go quickly one by one right in this case we have a so if you can just scroll down with your arrow and you can go one by one one by one and look quickly which one has a good pattern in this case is one and then go to walmart you have another one khc and it's supposed to work procter and gamble yeah all of them so that is how how I do it, guys. And I and I was telling you, I mean, hopefully you can have this exercise every day, and give us give us ideas to all of us, so you can we can all analyze it at the moment and see if there's an opportunity to get into a trip. Right. So yeah, somebody came up with Walmart, and that was a good trade. That was, was that one was good. And I came out with Target. That's so sad. Any questions for Kami? You you use a. Uh... Okami well, is working actually. Ah, okay. I think he said he was working. Yeah, okay, but at least he's listening. Okay, so that is the idea. Okay, I know I don't want to take more of your time on this weekend, but I think it was a just a, a broad idea of how to. How do you can look for opportunities during the days besides the ones that we already have on the watch list of pre-market? And that's all I have. I don't know if there's anything else we would like to add. To. No, that's it. No, that's it for me. I appreciate the information. You're Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you.